back. High intensity interval training or HIT is a workout program that's becoming extremely popular the last few years. Here today to tell us what it is, how it works, and some of her advice is personal trainer Allie McWilliams. Great to have you. So for people who have not heard about this, what is a HIT workout? It is high intensity interval training. So you take an exercise, do it for a certain amount of time at a high intensity, same workout, lower intensity for the same amount of time, which is called active recovery, meaning that you're moving throughout that recovery. Okay, I want to make sure people get that. So if you did a move for one minute, high yep. intensity, then you do a low intensity something for same, a minute. Right. Give, can you give an example? So for example, if you're going to go out and sprint for a minute, then you could jog or walk. So your recovery needs isn't doing nothing. Correct. You don't want to rest. You want to keep it active. So when you're in active recovery, okay. it allows your muscles to get rid of the metabolic waste so then you have a lot more energy to do the next bout. So you're getting much more out of it when you're doing an active recovery instead of just sitting and resting or getting some water. What are some of the benefits of a HIIT workout? Oh, the number one, it's really huge for cardiovascular fitness endurance. So, which, who doesn't need that? Especially Because of athletes. the high intensity. Right, okay. exactly, and it's a super hard workout. Great way to burn calories. Number two, efficient, super efficient. People who are really busy, they don't have a lot of time. It's a great way to get your cardio in. Or people who sit and do 45 minutes on their elliptical, mm -hmm. it's a great way to mix it up and burn more calories. And number three is everyone's favorite is weight loss. So a lot of people really enjoy it for weight loss purposes. So how long do you need to have a good workout, a good HIIT workout? It all depends on where you're starting. So if you're brand new to movement, um, you could do you know just three or four bouts and they're just one minute intensities. Someone like you who's been used to working out for a while, you could do more longer, like four minute bouts. But you're still only doing three to four, so that's still only 16 minutes. Yeah, I mean, you shouldn't be able, it should be hard enough for, minutes. if you're going into 20, 30, 40 minutes, there's, you're not working hard enough or doing it right. I know you have two big pieces of advice that you want to get into people, and the first one is on that recovery time, not yes. to shorten it. That's really important, not to shorten your recovery time, which people tend to do as they get better at it. And then you don't add too many. What does that mean? Yes, so you don't want to start to all of a sudden there goes your cardio and you're starting to do all these HIIT workouts and you're doing HIIT three times a week. Just do one a week, maybe two, and you only want it for like six or 12 weeks. So it's a good thing to do during the summer. And then you stop or you have overtraining potential Right, exactly. Issues. Okay. So it's really important to just like add it. It's a nice little supplement for a short amount of time. So this is kind of our intro to the HIIT workout. And when Allie comes back in four weeks, we're going to actually do a HIIT workout with you. So get ready for that. If you'd like to read Allie's blog, it explains it in much more detail, the HIIT workout. Just log on to our web channel, NBC15.com. Click on news links. We'll be right back.